Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 3 to the power of x times 5 to the power of y. This is equal to 75. Let's call this equation 1. 3 this to the power y times 5 to the power x, this is equal to 45. Let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of x and what is the value of y? So let's prevent a solution from here. The first step here is to multiply equation 1 times equation 2. So equation 1, we have 3 to the power of x times 5 to the power of y multiplied by equation 2. This is 3 to the power of y times 5 to the power of x. This is equal to 75 multiplied by 45. So now we have... 3 to the power of x here times 5 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of y times 3 to the power of y. This is equal to 75 times 45. So we have 75 times 45 from here. So 5 times 5, this is 25. So 5 carry 2, then 7 times 5, that's 5 plus 2, this is that 7. 5 times 4, this is equal to 20, carry 2, 7 times 4, 28. So we have that here. So we have 5, 7, 3, 3. So we have that 3, 75. The next step is that 3 to power x times 5 to power x. This is in the form of a to the power of n times b to the power of n which we can express as a, b, raised to the power n. Applying this exponent property, then we have here 3 times 5, raised to the power x, then times 5 times 3, raised to the power y. This is equal to 33, 75. So this implies that 3 times 5, this is 15 raised to the power of x, then multiplying by 5 times 3, this is 15 raised to the power of y, this is equal to 33, 75, which is 15 to the power of 3. Okay, now 15 raised to the power of x times 15 raised to the power of y, this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, here we have 15 raised to the power x plus y. This is equal to 15 to the power of 3. Right? So since the bases are common here, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m. Since the bases are common here, exponent n is equal to m all right so applying this property then this implies here we have x plus y this is equal to 3 let's call this equation 3 now the next step from here let's divide equation 1 let's divide equation 1 and equation 2 okay so this implies that we have 3 to the power of x times 5 to the power of y divided by 3 to the power of y times 5 to the power of x. This is equal to 75 over 45. So here we, can, we have that 3 to the power of x divided by 5 to the power of x times in the numerator, we have 5 to the power of y. In the denominator, we have 3 to the power of y. This is equal to 75 over 45. Now, 3 to the power x over 5 to the power x and 5 to the power y over 3 to the power y. This is in the form of a to the power n over b to the power n, which we can express as a over b raised to the power n. Applying this exponent property from here, we have 3 over 5 raised to the power x 
times 5 over 3 raised to power y. This is equal to, now, 75 over 45. We can simplify here. 75 divided by 15. This is equal to 5. 45 divided by 15. This is equal to 3. So here we have 5 over 3. Okay. The next step is that we have 3 over 5. We have 5 over 3 here. And we have 5 over 3 here. So we can get the reciprocal of 3 over 5. Remember this is in the form of A over B raised to power N. Which we can express as B over A raised to power minus N. Let's apply this exponent property from here. So that we have 5 over 3 raised to power minus x times 5 over 3 raised to power y. This is equal to 5 over 3. Remember 5 over 3, this is raised to power 1. Okay? Now, we have the bases here. The bases are common. That is a to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of m. And since the bases are common, the exponent n is equal to m. Alright? So applying this exponent property, we'll have here minus x plus y. This is equal to 1. Let's call this equation 4. So we find that equation 3 and equation 4, these are system of linear equations. And therefore, this implies that we can add these two systems of linear equations. Equation 3 is x plus y, this is equal to 3. And equation 4 is minus x plus y, this is equal to 1. So let's add these two linear equations. x plus minus x, this simplifies. y plus y, this is 2y, which is equal to 3 plus 1, this is equal to 4. So this implies that we have the value of y, as this is equal to 2. So this is the value of y. So we can solve for the value of x here by substituting the value of y. We have that x plus y, this is equal to 3. So x is equal to 3 minus y, which is equal to 2. So here we have that the value of x is equal to 1. So we have that x comma y this is equal to 1, 2. So this is the value of x and y. We have 1, 2. This is the value of x and y. So the next step is to verify. So let's verify that the value of x and y satisfies the equation. So if you recall, we have that 3 to the power of x times 5 to the power of y this is supposed to give us a value of 75. And again, we have 3 to the power of y times 5 to the power of x. This is supposed to give us a value of 45. Substituting the values of x and y, which is 1 and 2 here, this is the same thing as 3 to power 1 times 5 to power 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 75 for equation 1. And we have that 3 to the power 2 times 5 to the power x, which is 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 45 for equation 2. From equation 1, we have 3 times 5 squared. This is 25. This is supposed to give us a value of 75. So 25 times 3, this is 75, which is equal to 75. So the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. For equation 2, we have 3 squared. This is 9 times 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 45. So 9 times 5, this is 45, which is equal to 45. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x and y, which is 1 and 2, satisfies the equation. Kindly of follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. Kindly of like and subscribe. See you in the next video.